This is day four at Rife Lake Party Spot, three boondocking spot in uh, Western Washington Mountains. And let me show you what uh, we got going today. Yeah, the snow finally came down and it is sticking. like maybe we got uh, half an inch to an inch out here. I got coffee brewing. Going to have a quick bowl of cereal this morning. And then we're going to be out of here and on the road back to Papa's place. Sorry about the noisy generator. I run the generator in the morning when I first get up. So I can make coffee and turn on the electric heaters to eat the RV. And uh, last thing at night before I go to sleep, about an hour or so each time, to fill my battery banks and to make coffee. And I guess that's it. So anyway, snow on the ground. Papa's going to eat some breakfast, and then we're going to be out of here. Go over the lake, so thick, can't even see the other lake shore. He's supposed to get my new rescue puppy this week. Bandit. Ooh, look at this nice yummy coffee. Yummy, yummy, yummy. My tummy, tummy, tummy. down the hatches inside here. Put things away. Normally I would clean up these dishes and have everything a little bit more ready to go. But the snow's coming down so heavy I'm a little concerned. Not about getting out of here but about the conditions of the road. And instead of at the end an hour and 45 minutes back to Papa's place. Might be as much as three hours. That depends on if it's uh, snowing at home or not. I think I'm going to start the truck. So this cold blooded diesel engine can start getting warm. This is why you always do a walk around of your rig before you uh, go anywhere. I don't often use these leveling blocks but I had to this trip and so the uh, end result of that is I might have left them
Off we go. Away from the party spot and back to Papa's place. Four wheel drive going here. So if I just keep on moving slowly, I shouldn't get stuck. Looks like there's people out here just to see how pretty the lake is with the snow. I didn't have four-wheel drive, I'd be stuck right now. I was going to turn the camera off because it's tough driving. You really need to pay attention. And I don't have a windshield mount, so I've got to hold the camera in one hand. But this is just so beautiful. I had to get a little bit of it on video. Oh my goodness. That's the end of uh, my little video and my trek down to Reif Lake, Washington. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please like it and subscribe and then comment and share. Those actions will help me a lot. I had a great time at Reif Lake and a great time sharing it with you. It's always fun to go, but it's always good to be home. So thank you so much and we'll see you on the next American Trekking.